Tackle Junkies, what's going on fellas? Today we're going to be swapping braid from one reel to another. Now I have a bunch of videos on line, how to spool a bay caster, stretching your line, you name it, all the tips and tricks in between. I have videos on spooling line. So I'll link some of those down below. Definitely check them out. But we have a reel here with 50 pound braid on it and I want to spool up the Pro TI with 50 pound braid. Okay, I have a few of these reels sitting around with braid on them. They're just sitting there so I want to get some use out of that braid. So I'm going to swap the braid from one reel to another. Now you can do this just for this reason alone. If you have a reel sitting around and you want to spool up another reel with the line that's on it, you can do that. Or let's just say you've been using this reel for the last season or two and the braid is worn, okay? The top portion that's been in the water is worn. What's below it is basically new braid. So if you do this from one reel to another, by the time you spool up the other reel, what's on top is the fresh braid that was actually below the worn braid on this reel, if you guys get that. So um, that's a couple reasons why you'd want to do this. But again, like I said, I got a new reel there. I want some braid on it. This one's sitting around, so we're just going to swap the braid from one to the other. Now this line here is fairly new on here. It's not worn on top, but again, we're just swapping from one to the other. So I did a video a while back on how to spool a bait caster, everything you need to know. And you guys seen this setup before. Of course, I got my fluorocarbon, my mono, and this is what I had my braid on. Now, what I did here, this is my spooling station I've had for many, many years. It's just a Berkeley spooling station. Here's the other little end to it that went on the other side. I just flipped it around, and I put my reel in the little reel lock here, okay? And what you can do when you're swapping a line from one reel to another, you can just adjust the drag. However tight you want that line to come out, just adjust the drag there. And I want the braid to be spooled up pretty tight, so I have the drag fairly tight when I'm spooling from one reel to another. So that works out really well to do it like that. But um, again, I just got it clamped on there with a clamp to my table there or my shelving and we are good to go. So like I said, in my video I, I did on how to spool up a bait caster, um, you guys seen I like to put a little bit of mono for backer when I'm spooling up braid. And um, that's what we're going to do today. Just I like about 10 foot or so, so I'm just gonna grab the mono here and just stretch it out kind of the length of the rod here. And I'll just grab a few more feet. It's about 10 foot or so. Again, that's a good length. Um, that will grab the spool nice and tight and you, have, you don't have to worry about the braid slipping. Now you can take the braid to the spool or you can tie it in the holes in the spool if you want to. Again, I just prefer mono. I've been doing it for years and I just feel really secure putting the mono on the spool first then tie my braid into the mono. So I got my mono here, my braid here coming from the reel, double uni, just make a loop. You're just going to wrap it around the mono line and in the loop three times. One, two, and three. Okay, then you go ahead and cut your mono here. I know how much I want, so then, okay, get your mono, same deal. Make your loop, get your mono, go over the braid, through the loop, again three times. Okay, like so, cinch that down. And what you'll see is when you pull the braid and the mono, you see those knots come together and they actually fight against each other. Okay, it's a really, really strong knot. Then I'll pull on the tag in just a little bit to loosen it back up. And then I'll pull the main lines again just to make sure that knot is as small as it can be. It's nice and small. Then I'll get my cutters, cut the tag ends off. Cut the mono. And then cut the braid tag. Okay, and then get the end of my mono here. Get a little rapid fishing line guide here. Just like a drop shot weight. Put the line through the clip, cinch it up in there. Then you can go ahead and thread the line through your guides real easy. A lot of you guys ask about these. I'll go ahead and link them down below. You can get them at Tackle Warehouse. OK. 
Okay. And just remove the guide there, pop the line out. Okay, now we're going to tie the line to the reel. Let's go through the little line guide there under the spool, which I know a lot of guys will just go in the holes in the spool. I like tying a knot. So I'm trying to go under the spool here. This will be kind of hard to show. I'm just going under the spool like so. I got this little tool here just to grab the line. Like so, tie a little arbor knot. Which I think I have a video on this knot as well. Take a slip knot and tie another little knot above it. And cut it off. right above the knot and then I like to have my line guide in the center cinch it down like so okay now I'm going to stretch out here make sure I don't have any slack line okay and you can see there the braid coming out of the reel there got my drag somewhat tight here okay and I have the line guide. You can see they have the line guide in the center of the reel. That way the line's coming off somewhat smooth there. All right, now this spool here has a slight V to it. If you, if you like to guide the line back and forth to get a nice level spool, just make sure the V fills first, or when you're done, you'll have that V in your braid. So drag's tight. I like to spool a little bit loose there. Okay, start spooling her up. I'm just looking for that connection knot. I like that connection knot in the center. I can hear it coming through the guys now. There it is. I like to move that over there in the center. That will cause the line to bunch up on one side if it's not centered there. Okay. And the V is full now with the mono, so now I'll just kind of guide it back and forth. To make sure I'm getting a nice level spool. And it looks like we're about full. So that Akuma reel must hold a little more. This one here, see where we're at. Oh, we're out. So the braid muscle must be. Where's my connection at? Right here. So we emptied the Akuma reel completely a braid. And now we got a full spool here on the Pro TI. Nice full spool here. Nice level spool, 50 pound braid. We can see now we got brand new braid on the Pro TI here. We're going to do some frog fishing tomorrow. But that's just an easy way to swap braid from one reel to another, no matter if you're just wanting to put uh, that line on that reel to this reel, or let's just say that that top portion of that braid was worn and you wanted fresh braid on another reel, the older braid would be on the bottom part of this spool. And of course, the new braid that never touched the water on that reel is now on top of this reel. So, and again, just an easy way to uh, swap the line from one reel to another. And I'll go ahead and link my other videos down below and all the spooling and all the tips and tricks that I've done, you know, throughout the year. So definitely check those out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you guys on the next one.